Well, once again, we take a little detour on to Route 66, and we come upon the Wigwam Motel, where everyone stays in teepees, and outside of each teepee is a classic car. Well, it was pretty amazing to see this, and I went along and looked at some of the cars. Some of my clients go absolutely ballistic for antique car pictures. We're on the way to the petrified forest, but we stop and take a little while to let our van pose beside one of the teepees. Look at that old wrecker. Wow, that's a thing of beauty. Lots of amazing classic old trucks. It's just beautiful. Pretty amazing. Things don't rust as much in the desert, so there's a lot more cars like that and trucks. Now we're driving along down the road and I happen to notice a large herd of cows. So we decide to pull over and wow, I can't believe my good fortune. This is the second time I've come across a cattle drive and the drovers were wonderful. They were really helpful, posed for some pictures. The cows were great too. These guys, it's like a ballet watching them with the horses and the cows, the way they cut the cows and move them around here and there. Just unbelievable. Look at the tilt on that horse. Beautiful horses too, I'm really impressed. These guys can ride. This fellow's got a calf over his saddle. He said the calf got overheated, so he was taking it in for a while. Look at that horse go. The cows really move along when they see the horses coming. Guess these guys have been doing this the same way since uh, the days of Matt Dillon and, uh, hmm. Yeah. These horsemen are great. It's just great to watch them herding the cows. Black and white's a nice effect on something like this too, I think. Any one of these photographs would be just great for a man cave or a living room wall. If you're into horses, dogs, this is going to be a great series of photographs. We've got the Wild West, we've got the Wigwam Motel and the old cars. It was just a wonderful day. We didn't even get to the petrified forest yet and I've already had a great day of making photographs. It was so much fun. Now, it's a lot of waiting and driving and everything and the actual action takes place in a brief time. It's just amazing how fast it goes by. Now we're cruising down the road again. It's a bit overcast. Now on an overcast day, you point your camera down. You point down to the ground, you look at objects, you get close-up shots. There's not so much shadows, so you can do some work with things that would be a little difficult at other times. But that's the motto, when it's cloudy, overcast, point your camera down. Now who cut these logs? Nobody cut these logs. The trees are petrified over millions of years. These trees were petrified long before Tyrannosaurus walked the earth. Now what happens is the trees are heavy and they're laying on the ground so they crack. And the shortest distance for the crack is perpendicular to the log. So that's why the pieces look as if they were sawed by a chainsaw or something. They haven't been. Here is a classic wreck on the side of Route 66. Some of my clients love trucks like this, just as they're found in the desert. Make great pictures for their man caves. Large prints, canvas prints, prints under glass, anything is possible. We can make them black and white, silver gelatin prints. Now, once again, we find some writing on stone. The natives would chip through the black iron layer on the top of the rock to expose the sandstone underneath. Now the people here in the park have been talking to the local natives and trying to find out some of the meanings behind the things. Then we drove across the Painted Desert and it was just wonderful. Painted Desert was great. We had a great day. We got to see some cows and horses in action. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like and subscribe.